uh, the Glass Air Series spawning an LSA. That is big news. Tell us what you have in mind. So, uh, so Glass Air has, uh, you know, over the 30 years of its history, we've always been a high-performance composite aircraft company. The biggest question we get is, is this an LSA? Well, we finally answered that question. We do have an LSA. So Merlin is our entry-level aircraft into that market. It also rounds out our product line. We have the Sportsman, which is a very nice mid-entry airplane. But Merlin will be an entry-level airplane, or for those guys that are looking to fly within the sport category or the LSA rules. We're really excited about it. It's an all-composite aircraft with aluminum substructure. It's designed by the legendary Chuck Hotamaki and Ted Setzer. And the joke around the shop is it's designed by a wizard and flies like magic. So tell us some of the stats. What are we expecting from the airplane? What's going into it? How's it going to be powered? What's happening with the panel? Give me all the good stuff. So in the LSA, it's really hard to uh, differentiate yourself in performance because mm -hmm. you're so limited. So we took a different approach. We wanted to be very ergonomically correct and luxurious, high quality, all things that are synonymous with glass air. We went with the Rotax 912 IS, mm -hmm. which is the most advanced Rotax engine being produced right now. We also worked with Dynon. They're introducing the touch screens in this model. We have BRS parachute for safety factor. And we've been working with everybody within the industry trying to give the pilots what they've been asking for or missing in the LSA market. Are we just talking straight trikes here, or are we going to see a tail dragger? We're not going to see a tail dragger, unfortunately. Ooh, hiss. <laughs> uh, so I can understand the sentiment there. Uh, however, uh, we're currently uh, working with the tricycle gear, okay. and we're also going to have it available on floats. Okay. And then at some point, we may explore the tail dragger. We're looking at fourth quarter deliveries on these. The prototype will be at Oshkosh. How much? So price point, it's starting at $149,000. There's only two options available. That is an upgraded avionics panel and the BRS parachute. That's it. We give it all to you up front for that $149,000. The chute is $10,000. And then the second screen, I believe we're going for five. If we're looking at availability by the end of the year, what kind of production rate are you looking at? Where is it going to be produced? Uh, give me the, the stats there. It will be built in uh, in Arlington, Washington, our home factory. Um, uh, the factory right now is in uh, breakneck speed, uh, getting the production line up and running for Merlin. Um, uh, we're looking at delivery. We'd like to be able to deliver six of these aircraft by the end of the year. And we're currently taking orders for those aircraft. The first 10 aircraft are going with a $50,000 deposit if you want to be part of that. And then if you want to be for serial number past, serial number 10, it's a $2,000 non-refundable profit. So what is production for 15 going to look like though? We're planning on two aircraft a month for 2015. If need prevails, we'll obviously change that. Where do you see the market for this airplane at this point? LSA has become rather convoluted, certainly competitive. There's so much history with the company that's it's certainly got to give you a leg up, but where do you see yourself in all this? So, uh, so Glass Air, we were hesitant to, to enter into this market at the beginning. We felt the same as what you just yeah. mentioned. Oversaturated. Uh, we weren't really sure where it was going to fall out. And then as the market has matured, we saw there's an opportunity for a real high-quality, ergonomically correct, advanced manufactured aircraft. So we decided to enter into that market. We also see worldwide especially in the Asian market. As flight schools are starting to open, there's a real need for a docile handling, easy to fly airplane that fits into the family of aircraft that are glass airs. And so it would be very easy for somebody to start flying or learn to fly in Merlin and then easily jump into the sportsman or the diesel powered sportsman without any trouble. Oh, we can't wait to get a chance to come out and fly. You gotta give me a call. Excellent, we look forward to it. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.